Hello everyone. Welcome to video lecture series of Computer Organization and Architecture. Today's topic is Floating Point Representation. In this video, I will be talking about what is floating point number and how many kinds of possible representations are there. Let us begin. See, floating point number is a number which is usually represented or which is usually in the form of a decimal point, right? Decimal point means if you are writing 3.14, 6.5, minus 125.5. So, these are the floating point numbers. Floating point numbers can be positive or negative. And floating point numbers, it represents wide variety of numbers. And you must also remember, when we are talking about floating point, then it refers to the fact that number radix point radix point is what which is the decimal point right so number radix point which is the decimal point it can float for example you can write a number as 1.2345 or you can write 12.345 so here you can observe that the decimal point float and general representation of floating point number, it involves two things. One is the significant and other is the exponent. What is significant? Significant, it contains the numbers digit, right? And negative significant represents that the number is negative. While the exponent means where the decimal point is placed relative to the beginning of the significant and negative exponent may also be a, exist and negative exponent shows that numbers are very very small. Suppose we are talking about this number is only if the number is written as 1.2345. So you can represent this number as 1.2345 into 10 raised to the power minus 4. This is also one way of representation. So, this term, this is what? This is nothing but significant, right? And this minus 4, this is what? This is base. And, sorry, this is exponent. This is not base. This is exponent. And 10, this is the base. So, any number can be represented as significant into base raised to the power exponent. You must remember it. Now, you must also be aware that floating point representations, these are commonly used in the computers. And in year 1985, IEEE 754 standard for floating point arithmetic was established. And it was established by IEEE, which is the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineer but from 1990 floating point representation this is the mo most encountered representations used in the number of applications. IEEE 754 it has three basic components. The components are sine, exponent and mantissa. First as I have told you sine, sine means this is denoted by S number may be a positive or negative so 0 represents for positive and 1 represents for negative. Second is the biased or modified exponent. So the exponent field it needs to represent both positive and negative exponent but here modified exponent means a bias is to be added to the actual exponent so that stored exponent may be obtained. So, here a term which is bias, this is very important, this particular bias is to be added. And the third is the normalized mantissa. So, mantissa is a part of the number uh, when we are talking about the scientific notation, it is actually the significant digits. So, 0, 1, like these are the two digits. So, when we are talking about normalized mantissa, this is the one with only one to the left of the decimal. It must be very much clear when I am going to talk about the numerical example. Now, when we are talking the floating point representation means IEEE 754 floating point representations, there are two types, single precision and double precision. In case of single precision floating point number, it is of 32 bits and the largest number which can be represented in single precision that is 
this particular number this is what this is nothing but 2 raised to the power 31 minus 1 and the smallest possible number is minus of this. So when you are going to cal calculate the modified exponent means a bias is to be added. So here the bias is 127. When we are dealing with the double precision means it is of 64 bits. Largest number can be this and the smallest of this minus sign. Here modified exponent can be computed with the help of adding bias which is 1023. Now let us talk in detail about the single precision floating point number. As I have told you these points, let us see its format. Since it is of 32 bits, so sign which is represented by S, this is of 1 bit. Exponent which is represented, this is actually the modified exponent. Modified exponent e dash, this is of 8 bits and the remaining is the mentissa which is of 23 bits. So 23 plus 8 plus 1 which is of 32 bits. So it starts from 0, goes up to 22. It is from 23 up to 30 and this is for 31, right? Now let us take one numerical. This is a question, the given number is in the decimal. Now you have to convert it into the single precision floating point number. This number is to be represented into that format. So what is the first required thing? First required thing is you have to convert this decimal number into the binary. So this is the conversion. Conversion you must be aware. First you have to convert this part 1460 divide by 2. See the remainders what you are getting. Write it from bottom to top. So corresponding to 1460, whatever the value you have got, you have written over here. Now the second part which is 0 0.125 multiplied with 2. See what you are getting. Accordingly, you have written this particular part. So this is what the binary of the given number which is into the decimal. Now you need to normalize it means you have to normalize this binary number. So when you are normalizing this number, normalizing, let me write it, normalization means you see, you have shifted this decimal point toward this particular position. So now it is what 1.011 something this into 2 raised to the power 10, count the value 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 positions left. It is being shifted. See, so now this is the normalized form. So when you have written this into the normalized form, it means what is S? S is the sign, number is positive. So this is 0, 2 raised to the power 10. So here the exponent is what? 10 E. Mentissa is what? The number which is after the decimal. It means now you need to compute this modified exponent. Modified exponent, how to calculate this? E dash, which is equal to E plus 127. E is 10 plus 127, which is equal to 137. 137 is in the bin uh, decimal. Convert it into the binary. So when you are going to convert it into the binary, you are getting this value. Right. So this is what the modified exponent mentissa you are aware with. It means now you can write it down. Sign is what? Number is positive. So this will be 0. Modified exponent you have computed 1, triple 0, 1, double 0, 1. And mentissa the points after the decimal, number after the decimal which is 0, double 1, 0, double 1, 0, 1, 4 times. 0, 1, but this is this must be of 23 bits. But this is of not 23 bits, means you have to add zeros to make it complete 23 bits. This is how you can represent a given number into a single precision. You can see this is of 8 bits and sign is of 1 bit. Now let us discuss double precision floating point number. It is of 64 bits. So let us see what is the format. Out of 64 bits, mentissa, this is of 52 bits, starting from 0 to 51. Exponent, which is the modified exponent, this is of 11 bits. And sign, this is of 1 bit. Again, let us take the same question for which you have to represent this number into a 
double precision floating point number just the given number was into the decimal you have converted into the binary after conversion into the binary you have represented it into the normalized form this is the normalized one from here you know number is positive so s is 0 e is what exponent which is 10 mentes are the number after the decimal points right again you have need to calculate the modified exponent which is what e plus 1023 e is 10 plus 1023 this is what 1033 3. this number is what this is into the decimal convert it into the binary so when you are going to convert it into the binary you are getting 1 right this is the conversion of this number into the binary one see how many bits are here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and exponent this is of 11 bits. So now you can write it. Sign number is positive so this must be 0. This is what? 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. Mentesa is what? The number after the decimal which is 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 4 times 0 and 1. And this must be of 52 bits. It means you need to add 0. And how many zeros? So that this complete mentesa, this will be of 52 bits. Right? So this is how the given number which was into the decimal you have converted into the double precision floating point number. In case the number is negative. So for the negative number, the sign bit that will be 1. Thank you so much for watching this video.